G'day guys. In today's video, I'm going to be installing the Xiaomi EU ROM. I have already unlocked my bootloader on here. So right now, I'm mostly prepared to use the fast boot installer. And I'll disable most of these. And I will be demonstrating shortly how to actually install that or run the installer to wipe the phone and put the Xiaomi EU ROM on there. Granted, I am not using the stable ROM. I'm using the version, is it version 12.11 fastboot. So that is around about a three gig download. And I will just make one modification on here and I'll show you how to do it to prepare the phone to then install the Xiaomi EU ROM. So to prepare it, we want to go into here, we want to go about phone, and hmm, excuse that phone going off. We want to enable developer mode. And with developer mode done, we go back here, scroll down to additional settings, go developer options, we want to enable OEM unlocking. Bootloader is already unlocked. Excellent. And we want to enable USB debugging. So I believe that is required. So we'll allow that. Cancel that. And from here, we should be right. So once we're at this stage, we then go to the computer. And if you've also successfully downloaded what we require, which is the Xiaomi EU ROM, which I'll just load up on screen now. And you should see this. So what we're going to want to run is Windows fast boot first install with data format. So that's going to wipe the phone and put the new ROM on there. So to get into fast boot, power the device off. And then I believe it's volume down and power, once it's off, will get us into fast boot mode. Then from there, we'll run the batch script. That's chose just to restart itself. So I'm just gonna press and hold that button combination anyway. There we go. Power, uh, volume down, power. We're now in fast boot mode. So now that we're done at the phone, we turn to the computer. And all we really should have to do is hopefully run this batch script. I'm not sure if we need to install some fast boot tools on there. But I'm just going to right click, go run as administrator, go yes, and you're going to wipe your data and internal storage. You'll delete all your files and photos stored on the internal storage. Do you agree? Well, yes. And now we play the waiting game. And hopefully we get a lot of successfuls going along the way. So as you can see here, Currently, it looks like it's transferring some files, which is very helpful. Various petition files, image files. So I'm not sure what the expected ETA of this would normally be. But so far, as long as we keep getting successful and OK, it's looking promising. So if this section does fail for you, what I would probably suggest trying is simply making sure that USB debugging is enabled and OEM unlocking is enabled and also that your bootloader is unlocked. If you haven't unlocked your bootloader, you will definitely not be able to do this stage. Other things you could try there as well, different uh, Type-C cable, potentially a Type-C to Type-C cable if your computer has the support for that. Simply try USB 3 ports if you've got them on the machine also template, possibly try USB 2 ports if you've got that on your machine. But from here, we'll just wait. So 
So the typical method that I'm used to installing Xiaomi EU ROM is using a custom recovery. So I'll install what's typically known as twerp, or most commonly, the most common custom recovery is twerp. And usually I install twerp, flash the recovery on the phone, and then from there I would download the Xiaomi EU ROM and then copy that to the copy that to the internal storage after I format the petition and from there I can install it. But it seems like with the Mi 11 and the Poco F3 series, the newer versions running Android 11, is that it's definitely the method for that has changed. So I'm not sure what this will yield in the future and how you will actually be able to install different ROMs. But for now, this is, seems to be the way to go. So while I'm talking, and while we're waiting for this to do its thing, I might as well show you guys the exact location that I downloaded this ROM for, or from. So if I go Xiaomi EU, we have the Xiaomi European community, which I don't think that is it. We'll go there anyway. There we go. So I went from here to the MIUI 12 ROM download. I didn't receive an ad. And scrolling down the list, we had the weekly downloads. So on the weekly downloads, our batch scripts look to have finished. So we'll switch back to the phone. Well, actually, while the phone's restarting, I went to download the 21428 weekly, which was here. And from there in the list, I just searched for the Poco F3. So I hit A Poco. There we go, right here. So that's the particular model that I downloaded. And now switching back to the phone itself, we will probably sit at this screen for quite some time. That is pretty normal and also fairly expected. We'll potentially be waiting here. I'd suspect that you'd normally wait upwards of about five minutes for it to actually proceed. And the other possibility is I've completely scrambled the petition table on there and it won't boot at all. Fingers crossed it's not that. But yeah, we'll just give it some time and we'll see what we get to. As you can see here, I skipped through the setup and we're now currently running MIUI UI 12.6 Xiaomi EU. So if I tap on here, we're now running the beta and we are all good. Also full screen gestures are now also enabled. So definitely happy with that. Security patch. Apparently the, I'm assuming that's May 1st, which is not bad considering it's currently April 30th for me. But anyway, I hope this has helped you install the Xiaomi EU ROM on your Poco F3, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.